Hey everyone, this is the top 15 Cydia apps and tweaks from Cydia. So let's get started. First one is Winter Board. It's pretty much what that does. It allows you to have themes on here and change the bottom of this. So let's go to it. So Winter Board right there. So I can select my theme. You can download more from Cydia. So here's all the things that you can do. It's really nice. Alright, the next one is Android Lock XT. So pretty much what that does is this. Now you can have it in any way you want. Of course that wasn't it, but now I'll enter everyone. So there it is. And that's Android Lock XT. You can open it in settings and change things. The next one's called Barrel. So if you notice, effects like this you do that and there's a lot more so I'll do another one uh, let's see barrel mode let's do eh, cube outside so cube outside so that kinda looks like a cube now this does cost in Cydia but it is definitely worth it the next one is called cascade so what that does is, you see how down here these are kind of angled a little bit, these bottom ones? That's what it lets it do. So let's go back to Cascade. And now I'll turn it way down. I don't know. Oops. For some reason it is not changing, but it would go back to default. I'm not sure why it's not changing, but it's not. But anyways, we'll move on to the next one. Now this one I really can't show you because I have to flip my iPod. It's called flip over, one word. So when I flip my iPod over, it turns the screen off. And see, it turned it right back on and I didn't even have to press the power button. But it, it is a little buggy. Like, say if I sit it down and come back five minutes and I flip it over, it won't turn on. I have to press the power button. I'm not sure if it's five minutes or what, but still. It's not perfect, but it's great. Okay, so the next one is called Gravity Board. So if you double tap that, you see how they just, oops, they just all fall away, and you can just play around with them if you're bored or anything. They can be pretty fun. And if you want to open it, just tap it, and it'll open. Now you're wondering, do you always have to double tap up here to activate it? No. Activator will be installed with it. I believe it will be. If it's not, just go to CDN and install Activator if you haven't already. And I'll let you activate some certain things like what I just showed you. The next one is called Infinity Board. Infinity Dock, excuse me. So what that does is down here, I don't really have that long, but you can have hundreds, if not thousands, of things down here. It's unlimited. So I just have five right now, and also lets you have more than four down here. Just so what you can see of these four between here, you can go up to ten. It's kind of crowded though. All right, the next one is called Lorem, and what that does, I really can't show you right now because it's for notifications. So that means you would have to have iOS five or higher. Oh, okay, I do have notification. So say if I had more in mail, I could just tap that, tap the X, and hit tap it again to clear it. But if I only wanted to remove one, I can swipe it away. Swipe it either way I want, right or left. So I'll just swipe it away. Blah, blah. The next one's called Weather Icon. So do you see up there? Ooh, my battery's kind of low. Do you see up there the weather? That is what it does. And it also changes this right here. Once you install that, you can go into settings and change what you want it to go to and everything. It's very nice. Next one is called Dream Board. So I'll open that up. You can get more themes from Cedia. So it's more like a theme changer. So here's all the ones I currently have. Let me go to Android. Let it load. And now I have an Android iPod, kind of. However, it is just a theme. And it seems kind of slow. Not great. Eh, I'll be right back. A little problem, I assume. Sorry about that. 
for some reason went to save mode, I'm not sure why. So this is Dream Board. I have the themes and everything, and to get back, it's different for each theme. So I'll just get back into my default one. Okay, the next one is called V Wallpaper 2. So if you look closely, this is an animated background. I find that very nice. So you just go to V Wallpaper once you install it. Oh, in case you're wondering who that is, that is Calvin and Hobbes. It's a great comic. I have all the books. I love it. Okay, so we go to Manage Current Theme. And you go into Video, make sure it's turned on. If you want to download more videos, go ahead and do so. But these are the current ones I have. Right now I have it on Sunset. And my favorites are Sunset and HD Water. Those are the highest I recommend. Some of them look fake, some of them look okay, but those two are my favorites. Okay, the next one is called iFile. This is $4.99 in the CDS store, but it's fairly worth it. So what iFile does, it lets you go to all the files and everything meant for each application everything you have gets down lets you get down to the roots. Next one is called, which I'm sure you might already know, SB settings. This also requires activator. So what you do is from the top, I think it's default, you swipe left or right and it brings this down. And there there are several themes for it. You can respring, you can power, you can reboot, power off, safe mode, lock, etc. And there's dock. I can't remember what that does. It's Seems to be a bug, refresh, more, and all these things. So pretty much more does, it just takes you to a bunch of more settings and settings for SB settings itself. The next one is called Gridlock. So pretty much what that does, let me go to a place where, okay. So usually when you can't move icons around, like we move it over here, just go back to here, but with Gridlock, you can move them anywhere you want. I find that very nice. And one thing that I'm sure that you have seen, this is the last one by the way, we'll wait for it. Okay, see that just flipped? That's a little nice effect. It's called Random Flip. Now, it, add, it adds no applications or anything. If you want to stop it, you have to go into Cydia and uninstall it. So that wraps up our videos for today. Please be sure to like it and see you next time.